in this video we're going to look at the introduction and the verse to living on a prayer but before you pick up an instrument it's always a good idea to try and clap what you're about to play to internalize it so the e minor you actually strum for 16 times so we're going to clap it for 16 times like this one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so that's four fours on the e minor and then we tap our legs once for four beats that'd be the chord c one two three four then we go to the chord d and we tap it once for four beats one two three four and then we e minor for eight one two three four one two three four I'd like you to come in after you hear the snare drum fill, which is, sounds like this, da, 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 and then it comes in. So once you can clap along to the introduction and the verse of living on a prayer, it's time to learn the chords E minor, C and D. And so E minor, first finger on the first string, a second fret, your middle finger goes to the third fret, second string, third finger, fourth fret on the third string, and that's E minor. And then C, put a finger, third fret, first string. And now D, just put a finger on the fourth string, second fret, other fingers underneath it. Put your first finger across all the strings, concentrating the pressure on the top um, couple of strings. And then maybe putting your middle finger on top and really squeezing between your thumb and your finger. So your thumb's there, squeezing as hard as you can. Now you actually don't want the first string to ring out at all. So it's, you want more pressure on the, the top three strings. And just get used to changing between the, the three chords um, so you can do it fluently. Once you can confidently change between the three chords, E minor, C and D, have a go of playing along with the music. Remember to come in after the snare drum fill. So, e minor. Hope you've enjoyed the video, that's the introduction and the verse of living on a prayer.